Good morning, St. Thomas More. Um, I want to give you three things I learned from yesterday's uh, tough day. Yesterday was difficult for us at the school because of the rain. And uh, what I learned is that we need to have a plan for this situation. So what, um, what I'm going to put into place is that we are reserving the right to call something you'll remember from elementary school. school. Indoor recess. There's going to be times when we have to call it indoor recess where we cannot be going through the hallways and we can't do what we normally do on a, on a day like that. I'm asking teachers to please discuss this with your students because if we do declare an indoor recess, one thing we don't want is we don't want everybody then congregating in the washrooms. We saw that yesterday, 20 to 25 people hanging out in a washroom. It's very unsafe in the middle of a pandemic to do that and I just cannot, we just cannot have that. So on a day like that, we're gonna have to work together as a, as a school community to just use the washrooms during classes. Um, obviously having 500 people walking around the hallways is just unacceptable. Uh, number two, uniform. I do wanna take, a, take a, a minute to explain this. Uniform is about safety. Um, so refusing to wear the uniform is, is not just about you know, me trying to tell you. It's, it, sometimes I think people think, we make you wear the uniform because you know, we're all control freaks and we want you to look a certain way. And it's actually not that at all. The worst incidents I've ever been a part of as a principal or vice principal have always begun from somebody outside the school coming in on, and we didn't even realize it. So when you walk around with a red sweater or a blue sweater, it's not so much I care that much about the St. Thomas More students who I know to be very good. It's that if everybody does that, there's no way for me to tell when somebody from the outside is coming in to do one of you guys harm. So I'm asking you for uniform uh, compliance. And I know that I'm gonna get it, but I'm telling you right now that if you're gonna be uncompliant with the uniform, you're gonna get dealt with. And it's not gonna be a uniform suspension. It's gonna be habitual neglect of duty. We're gonna give you chances, but if you're gonna be insistent on not wearing the uniform, you're gonna get dealt with, unfortunately, because it's a safety issue. Thirdly, um, I just wanna to highlight to everybody, classrooms need to be lunch rooms at times. And therefore, uh, you have to know that, that you are expected to be eating in your classroom on a day like yesterday. Yes, we will go outside every chance we can get, but yesterday we really didn't have that chance, in which case the classrooms need to be lunchrooms and we need to work together, uh, teachers, students together to make sure that, that those rooms are always available and being used. And finally, I do want to just conclude on a positive because I tend to, but I, I walked through the patio yesterday in the middle of the rainstorm. By the way, I'm a camper. Uh, you can wear a uh, raincoat and go outside in the rain. But nevertheless, I did a tour of the patio yesterday, 30 tables, you know, over $12,000 that we spent on that. And I noticed that not a single table has a chip out of it. Not a single table has graffiti on it. And I appreciate that. And I, it, it goes back to my theme. And that is that teenagers are underrated. Uh, people think these things are going to get destroyed. I appreciate that you have not done so. And I, I hope that uh, if you notice somebody doing that, you tell them to stop, you report it so we can deal with it. But I do just want to generally thank the teenagers because I think 95% of you are working together perfectly and being very compliant. And I appreciate that. The other 5% we're going to deal with. So with that, have a wonderful day. Good morning, I'm Mrs. Julia with a few announcements for grade 12 students. This Saturday, September 25th from 12 o'clock to 2 o'clock, all Ontario universities will participate in a virtual fair. These events are free and do not require prior registration. Please consider attending as this is an excellent opportunity to learn about universities and ask questions. You can access the link on the grade 12 LMS page. Also, this is a reminder that the Grade 12 LMS page is up and running. Please be sure to access this regularly for important information. And lastly, unfortunately, night school has been cancelled for this semester. If you were planning on attending semester and require a credit for graduation purposes, it is imperative that you come and see me as soon as possible. Please book an appointment um, and I'm happy to, to sit and speak with you. Thank you.
morning, STM. My name is Ainsley, and here are your announcements for today. This is a reminder of the meeting this afternoon at 2.30 in room 253 for those who are interested in being a part of this year's Athletic Council. There will be a brief but important diversity meeting today after school in the library. New members welcome. Tonight, the senior boys volleyball team will face ACMT on our home turf at 5.30. Let's start the season strong. Go Knights! Good morning, STM. I'm Bianca and I'm your student council president. This is, a message, this is a message to all students who have been recently acclaimed and those who are running for a student council position. There will be a mandatory meeting today in the lecture hall after dismissal at 2.20. If you are unsure about where the lecture hall may be located, it is room 218 and can be found right in front of the main office. Knights, today is the day we've all been waiting for. Our student council elections will be held this morning and I honestly couldn't be any more excited. Each candidate will come up here shortly to say their speech, and once the candidates have finished, you will then be able to cast your vote. Now, voting will take place through your LMS grade level guidance counselors page. When you are on this page, please go to the section titled Class Tools and then click where it says Surveys. This will allow you to vote for and choose your preferred candidate. Teachers, please allow your students this one opportunity to use their devices in class and ensure that they have all voted. To all of today's candidates, I can't wait to hear your amazing speeches and would like to wish you all the very best of luck. I'm so excited to see what the future of STM will look like and how we will all work together to make this year a great one. Knights, please make sure you're following us on Instagram, which can be found at STM underscore council and on Twitter at STM Knights. Now, Mrs. Danielowitz will kick off our elections. STM, those are all of your announcements. The time is now 8.18. Have a great day.